We're gonna hit up this uh, this Filipino restaurant. Just don't knock down the whole restaurant. Don't run it over. Relax. <laughs> Anthony, look at this guy. He's my new. Up. He's my new Tim Jacob. Uh, Anthony's been defending Jessica. Jessica's driving is atrocious, though, Anthony. I'll be honest with you. He likes my driving. Oh, driving. But he doesn't see your driving, love. He doesn't see the death. He does. He's curling so stunts that you do. Show us. Show us. The, show us this, show us this. We have this, this is the sauce. We got, we got diced onion, red onion, we got chili, and we got calamansi. This is our local lime or lemon right, in your right, country. Right, right, right. See, you squeeze this and you put this soy sauce. Right. Ay, sorry. Come on, mate. Uh, messy, messy girl, messy, messy girl. Come on, mate. Like that. And then what you do with the chili is you squeeze it. If you want it spicy, if not, then just leave it like that. Then you just marinate it while you're ready. That can be yours, yeah. For your food. You want some? Yeah, can you do mine as well? Show me mine. I'll do mine. I'll do okay, mine. You do mine. What do you think I'm the what did you say? Probably the first ever uh, foreigner customer here. Yeah. They've had I don't think normal foreigners just pop by a, a eatery on the side of the road. Nope, I'd say it's fairly, uh, I'd say I was the first Australian and probably the first white person. Good experience. Yeah, yeah. That's how, that's why Filipino loves foreigners who are very local. Yeah. It feels like they appreciate what we do as Filipinos. I really don't, but. It's good that it feels that way. I don't yeah. really appreciate it at all. <laughs> I'm not special on the food. It's massive. We'll see, maybe I'll appreciate it after this food, but I really don't. <laughs> it's massive. Do you want some water? Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe. All the other YouTubers are like, oh yeah, I appreciate the place, I love the culture. You know, all like this, bro. I'm just being honest, bro. I'm not a big fan of Filipino food. Just not a big fan at all, so yeah. I can't say I appreciate Filipino food too much. Ask if I'm the first foreign love. Ask that, ask. Ask. Ate may iba ba daw foreign love na kayo? O shepherd. Meron po yung Korean po at saka yung isa ay Indian. So there's been Korean and Indian. Kagabi po. Oh yeah. Kagabi. Oh, last night. Like you. So you're the first one before you left. Remember you were here last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's me. You should have said am I the first parang. I'll get up. Thank you. Looks good. Yeah, food looks good. Food looks good. Alright, yeah. so I'm trying the bangers. Let's give it a go. Careful, it's very hard. Right, Wow, that's good. Yeah, wow. 200 pesos. Yeah, that's six dollars. That's good. Man, this fish on the season plate is really good. And they brought us on. But can we just do one of these with just vinegar? Can you make one with vinegar? Just chili and vinegar? Mm -hmm. Look, that wasn't bad. That was, actually wasn't a really bad one. Was it? It wasn't bad food at all. The sizzling plate was a nice touch. The one, The sizzling plate. Now we get dessert. Yeah. So, people in the comments are angry because I called you a lady boy. Um, so, can you confirm, are you a lady boy? No. I am a lady boy during the night. People in the comments are like, you say that to your mates, not your girlfriend. I'm like, listen, little simp boy, you say it to your mates, not your girlfriend. I say whatever I want, mate. You know what I mean? 
So thanks. So this is called a lecture plant and it tastes like creme brulee, but it's a plant, right love? What? It's a plant, right? So it's a plant that tastes like creme brulee, like caramel creme brulee, it's crazy. Good. It tastes like creme brulee. Good. Okay, so Filipino food in the books. We said some Filipino food. So yeah, Filipino food in the books. And next, our next stop is not the gym, it's Burger King. We're going to Burger King. We're going to get a Whopper. Because <laughs> that was like probably 300 calories, that fish and that little bit of rice. I don't know, bro. If I was in an Ethiopian death camp, I'd be fine with that. But that's probably not enough calories. So I'm going to go get a Whopper. A Whopper meal. Large. That's where I'm going now. Is that how you talk, bro? Are you really eating guapa after that meal? That wasn't a meal, love. That was an hors d'oeuvre. So, <laughs> watch your language. Mind your, mind your, mind your p's and q's, love. That was an hors d'oeuvre, not a meal. So mind your p's and q's, right? That was an hors d'oeuvre. And yes, I am eating a whopper after that. Are you? Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. How am I gonna wanna, I wanna lift weights though? How am I gonna lift weights on like a hundred and what's that? What's that? 120 calories? What was that? 200 calories? Like how am I gonna lift weights? We need power cleans, mate. You need food, mate. You need to, you need to eat big, get big. You know what I mean? Like you can't can't be eating. I'm a bit too big, but can't be eating that kind of stuff. Listen, if I was like in a prisoner of war, if it, you know, in 1945 when the Japanese invaded, I'd probably eat that, right? But Bird King's here. I don't have to. There you go. Did Jack message you? Does he want to come and hang out, does he? Yeah. I think he gets lonely because he's, he's, he's getting lonely. Before he doesn't want to hang out, right? Because he's like, oh, girlfriend, girlfriend, obsessed with girlfriend. I was like, I could just are you free? Are you going out? So we took Jack to the movies to see, um, like, Dumbledore. Uh, and Dumbledore was gay, bro. Like, what's going on with Harry Potter? How's Dumbledore gay? Like, what? I was like, Dumbledore's gay? Like, what? Anyway, um, so they switched the actor from Johnny Depp to Lars Madison. Not mad at like that Lars Madison, Christopher Walken. They're like my favourite actors, right? I think his name's Lars Madison, whatever his name is. Um, look, it's your favourite actor. You can't even say his name. Yeah, well, I'm not simp, bro. But anyway, check out the Jimmy. But um, look, mate, like he's like, what's this, mate? Dumbledore's gay. Like, how's Dumbledore gay, bro? Like, what? 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 what are you talking about? Dumbledore's gay. Relax, Harry Potter. What do you think, you're Disney? Um, so yeah, anyway, we took him there to watch that movie. He fell asleep. because He's like, this is the worst piece of crap I've ever seen. He was laying down. Yeah. He's actually laying down the seats. Yeah. He was sleeping with his arm up on his head. He's like, this is the movie? He's a bit underweighted. He was, like, yeah. was, was itching his, his uh, belly. Yeah, I was like, bro. Bro, I've got to take some that Top Gun too or something, you know. And we're going to see Dune tomorrow. We can't go into Manila for the IMAX to see Dune. So we're going to get a hotel um, and we're going to go see Dune at the IMAX, bro. Some issues with the family regarding the Western food. They're like, well, no, I mean, this looks like, like, just cook the best butter chicken, mate. Just cook like a hundred butter chickens in Australia, trying to perfect it. She got it right. Serve the family. The family like, eh, we're not eating this. So then she cooked pasta carbonara, and just as good, she cooked good pasta carbonara. Family's like, nah, bro, nah. But now they're kind of coming around a bit, aren't they, love? They're coming around a bit. So they're just. I bolognese as well. Yeah, they ate spaghetti bolognese the other day. Papa won't eat it. The other day, he took like a bit of thing on his plate, and he. He he dump it on my mom's but uh, I don't like it. It's it's uh, sour because of the tomato. Cause I yeah, because they they used to them. they used to banana sauce, yeah. banana ketchup, and their spaghetti bolognese. He dumped it on my mom. Check it out, bro. This chick's filling up the uh, this chick's filling up the the gas. She's a, a an attendant. You think she gets better tips because she's a chick? Oh, she's got a tattoo, bro. It's not her first job, bro. I promise you, it's not her first job. Uh, what do you think is her first job? Something to do with a tattoo. She's yeah. probably a tattoo artist. Well, yeah, I don't know. When you see girls with tattoos in the bars, minus your sister, she's pretty cool. But sometimes you got to be a bit like, oh. like that, no. nah. But it is often like that, right? You see a tattoo and a girl with tattoos, all right? Yeah. No, see my sister. She's covered, but she's not. She's yeah. Not, she, she hasn't even been in a bar. Yeah. In her life. 
been. She's never been a bar? No. Your sister's never been a bar in her life? No. Oh, just wait till she gets in one. <laughs> She's gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, we do like local discos, like when there's a wedding, blah, 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 but it's not a bar. No, nah, it's a local disco. So, Jessica's sister, the pretty one, well, they're all pretty, but you know, Elaine and uh, obviously uh, Mary Joy are the prettiest, right? Um, I mean, the other girls are pretty, but they're all a bit older. Not saying they're not pretty, they're all pretty, right? Uh, uh, so, <laughs> but Mary Joy, right? She basically, um, she's never been to a bar. She's never been to a bar, there you go. There you go, boys. I'm gonna hypothesize on what happened, right? Well, our cop, our cop, right? We have this cop, he signed his gun out, he's gay. And he went and killed, was it his ex-boyfriend? Jessica, yes, tell me the story. His ex-boyfriend and his new boyfriend. They've been broken up for a year. And yeah, I think it's jealousy, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this cop, right, got his gun, and then he went and killed his ex-boyfriend, who's a TV presenter, and uh, his other boyfriend, who was a, um, like a Qantas, so he killed them Qantas. both and hid their bodies, so the cop did it. So. Australia's all like, out for blood, they're trying to like, and there's a there's a girl who's running the police commission at the moment, they wanted to stand down, I think this made national news, I think it was even in England, on the news in England, um, but yeah, this guy killed, uh, he killed uh, his ex-boyfriend, who's a TV presenter, and uh, like a air, ho uh, air host, air host, yeah, so it's pretty crazy bro, it's pretty crazy, so yeah, yeah. Cops, bruh. Cops. How did they find them? In the water or what? Yeah, no, no, I think I think they he, they he told them where it was, so he he, he told them. No, no, I, I watched it. I watched the news today. He. So they went. They went and met him at the jail. Oh, he told them. Because mate, that probably was huge. They'd never find that body. And he's silly telling them because if he's smart, he'd be like, they're not dead. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, there was shots fired. No body, bro. No, it's hard to convict someone without body. So if, you, if, you're a, if you're a serial killer or a killer, you never tell them where the body is, mate. You never tell them. Like, you just find the body, bro. Because the thing is about, the thing is there's always doubt, right? Reasonable doubt. Because there was this guy in China. He went to a jail for 20 years for murder, right? And then the guy he's supposed to murder showed up 20 years. Oh, I've been in the city. Oh, well, this guy's been in, 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 in jail for over 20 years for your murder. Oh, but you weren't dead. So there's always doubt, bro. There's always doubt. There's never a body. There's always doubt. But, I mean, there's not... Having said that, playing devil's advocate, there's not too much doubt that they were dead. They heard gunshots, there was a lot of blood. So you can be pretty sure that they were dead, but you don't know if they were dead or weren't dead. It's hard to prove. Check it out, check it out. This is Robinson. But it's a lot harder to convict someone if you don't have a body. It's way harder to convict someone if you don't have a body, right? Like, um, that's why Dexter, you watch Dexter, he always hides the bodies, mate. You know, like um, in that show, he's always hiding the bodies. They find the bodies, that's the problem, right? Because technically, if there's no body, it's a missing person. If if they find the body, then it's a murder, right? It's a murder, so, yeah. Bro, this was the best thing about the Filipino meal. Eating and getting a Whopper afterwards, right? People can blow this way, this is big blue. What are you doing, mate? Come on. Of course it's blocking. Bro, he's reversing. Well, stop. Girl, think of your mind. You're so kind, love. Philippines, bro. I go. So I did a U-turn on one of these uh, roundabouts in Bagyal, and I got fined. They said I was being king of the road. I was like, I'll oh, take you, brother. What's the fine? They're like, it's a thousand. Check out the it's Karen A. Chicken. Is that a fight cop? Fighting cop. Oh, fighting cop, bro. Yeah. So he's like, oh, you, you're, you're king of the road, bro. You're being king of the road. <laughs> And then he goes, and you're driving on Friday, you're not supposed to drive. But he said, you're king of the road. And you're driving on Friday. And I was like, yeah, whatever, I've bro. I've never seen whatever. so many um, uh, traffic for me. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, Baggy was a cash grab, bro. That's yeah, a cash grab. No. That is just nailing tourists. Yeah, because of that, imagine before, you, go, you ask these people for flowers, right? Those are from there. Yeah, so I went to buy Jessica flowers, and they're like, mate, are these for a girl? And I was like, yeah. Are these flowers for dead people? And I was like, yeah, okay, well. Yeah, all right. So, yeah. Hello, how are you? Hey, how are you? So this is the this is the flower street. People with flower shop. Oh, yeah. yeah, blog out, yeah. So yeah, this is the flower street. Yeah. Hey, this Jimmy Chicago, bro. Chicago, USA. We got a Superman sign. I get mixed messages from these Jimmys because they have like Jesus, and then they have like Bumblebee Transformers. And you're like, oh, I'm, I'm just getting mixed messages, mate. I'm getting mixed messages, you know? Oh, boy, he's got a scorpion on his neck, bro. He's going in this flower shop. He's going in to rob it. He's got a scorpion on his neck. He's going to rob the shop. What do you think, love? Would you date a guy with a scorpion on his neck? Not your cup of tea? I wouldn't date a guy with a scorpion on his neck either. Oh, here we go, bro. Scorpion on the neck, bro. Maybe it makes him... Billy the badass, bro. Maybe it makes him feel tough. Oh, I... Bro, the scorpion, bro. Take a sip, a sip, I think we just saw the toughest guy in Lipper with a scorpion tattoo on his neck. You gotta be a special kind of dork to get a tattoo on your neck. I'm not sure. Don't, yeah. I'll go with I don't think you can turn up. Yeah, he's not stopping me. I'm signaling. Okay. Because it's near to turn there. There's the flower street. Goya, let me turn Goya. Bribing officials, bro. Just bribing the cops. Oh, he's stopping the traffic. Ooh, very nice. Thanks, mate. You didn't even courtesy beep him, mate. I did. I didn't hear any courtesy beep at all. Look at this. Counterflower. Counterflower. Counterflower is someone who basically is. This is a counterflower. Going the wrong, wrong lane. Yeah, it's when they drive down the wrong lane. That's, Speaking so, uh, my they call that a counterflower, right? Love a counterflower. Yeah. Check out this. Gym, there's the gym street. This is the way to Laguna. Check the food out. It's been out all day, hygienic. He, he's not good at nice. Is it a big river and Very stuff? Very nice. Yeah, rivers. How can they take me there? Uh, I would go back the highway, love. Yes. I'm Why aren't you just going around? Just down. I thought the gym was just down the there, love. The gym is right there. Hello, uh, my name's Ian. Oh, no, I'm born in 1976. It's not my and country. And maybe it's not the best. Oh, uh, rude. Hello. Rude. Hello. Rude. It's a little rude, isn't it? See, why does anyone white knight me, mate? When she does this stuff, why don't I get people in the comments saying, Well, you use a bad. I do that 24-7. I do it once in a while. I don't get any white knights, mate. There's no white knights. Where are my white knights, mate? Where are my white knights? No, you're not a chick. You don't get a white knight. It's not about that. You don't know my pronouns, bro. You don't know my pronouns. What's your pronoun? Uh, <laughs> see you in the Northern Territory. <laughs> Look at this, bro. Look at this guy's this size handlebars. Look at these handlebars, bro. Wow, they're big handlebars. Oh, the bro's about it, bro. Do you see his helmet? He had his helmet. That guy weighed like 30 kilos, soaking oh, wet. Oh, it's right there. Don't be saying where's Jim after you spout off. I know where's the gym and I was just trying Where the gym is, not where is the gym. Where same, is the gym is a question. Same, same, not different. Same, same, but very different, right? No, 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 same, same, sir. Don't be, don't be mocking the tyres, mate. Don't be taking, doing a tie accent. Thailand. Don't be culturally appropriating the tyres, mate. I love Thailand. Whoa, I think I missed Thailand. it. Thailand. You missed it, right? My I burger's getting cold. Just eat it, mate. I don't need one in the car. The one blow over my so face, what? mate. The one blow over my face, bro. You'll do, she'll do a sudden break. She'll do a sudden break. Whoa, and I want up oh, having a burger all over my face. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Got a mountain. Do you know where you're going, mate? 
Yes, of course, I'm going here, mate. What's wrong with you? I'm just saying, you know, you, you have you a problem with me? I'm just saying, you, you know, you go, bro. Do you have a problem with my driving? Do you want to drive, mate? I'd rather not drive. You have a problem with your mouth. Then uh, although your you driving is dangerous, then your, your you mouth is worse, sip, love. When you start mouthing off. Then you should sip your pipe bowl and just sit and relax. Wow. So I'm going to go smash my burger before I hit the gym. My Whopper. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. In front of that guy, he's like, oh, you shouldn't eat sugars and so processed so food. I was like, shut up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I ate that Filipino is food. It's <laughs> shit. It tastes like <laughs> It's poor vinegar over everything. You just get cardboard box, pour vinegar over it, and go, it's Filipino food. Like, this is gross, this food. Yeah. He's like, what's your BMI? My BMI is I bring whoppers to the gym. Big head. Say none of your best. This white non-pagan bread. It looks good, right? Looks good, huh? Mm. Mm, yeah. No vinegar needed. Oh. No vinegar needed. Yeah. Put a peanut food. Lab, look at your t-shirt. It's full of sauce. Okay. You are so Grub. grubby. Oh. Okay, so I have that burger went up down my top, right? So we get butt hurt and start going, hey, you're, you're staying, that is dumb. Uh, comments, comments, comments. Shut up. <laughs> like, uh, I know I've got stains on my top, right? So, um. Already nagged him. You don't have to nag him. Yeah, you don't have to nag him. I've got, got Philippine already, in the car. <laughs> I already nagged him. I'm going to piss off being my boy because I'm going to take a Birkin Coke in. He'll be like, preach his feet, preach his feet. So he's a natural bodybuilder. Yeah, he, you know, you know what he says to me? He goes, yeah, I'm a natural bodybuilder. And I went, oh, I'm sorry. And he went, why? I'm like, because you haven't figured out how it works, mate. If you're a natural bodybuilder, you haven't figured out how it works. He goes, how'd it work? He goes, well, you take steroids and win competitions. That's how it works, brother. It's, you know, it's just that's like saying, I, I'm a swimmer that doesn't go in the water, mate. You know what I mean? If you're not taking steroids, you're not going to be winning any competitions, bro. Like, uh... Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you're gonna win Mr. Universe. What do you, you think you're gonna win Mr. Universe with no steroids? Maybe. And people go, yeah, but what about the natural competitions? Bro, people are on the gear in those natural competitions as well. They don't test you. And if you do steroids, India. you can't tell if you come off. In India, the skinny guys win the contest. And they're in a bodybuilding contest. Oh, that's because in India, there's only skinny guys, mate. There's only skinny guys in India. Sorry, Indians, but you're not the biggest. There are some handsome, bloody big bodybuilders in India. Like of the movie stars and stuff. Alright. Ian, this is my gun. I scared him. This is my gun. Hey, hiya. This is not real. He's very cute. He's very cute. Heading to the gym. Hey, EJ. It's EJ, the boys. Yeah, so we're going to head to a Filipino restaurant and then we're heading to the gym. So we're going to hit some uh, power cleans and some legs. So I'm mainly don't do squats, I do jumps. I think jumping's a lot better than squatting. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do some jumps today. So my foot's better. Foot's 100% better. No pain, so I think it's time to start jumping. So jumps are pretty much the best explosive movement you can do. Hey, hiya. Hey. So there's the family. Hello, mate. Hey. Hey, bro, wow. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, mate. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hey, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello. Hi, uh, cousins, they're just cousins. It's burning a fire here. So, yeah, we're heading out. I'm just working today in the room. So we've been working in the room. Now we're heading out to do some power cleans. And um, I'm hanging to get back to jiu-jitsu. There is a jiu-jitsu club here. Uh, there's a martial arts club, I should go check it out. We're, heading, we're supposed to head to Manila today to see Dune. So it comes out tomorrow morning in the IMAX. So we might head out tonight. Um, there's a really good Jiu Jitsu club in Manila. One of the guys, this guy, his name's Judo Steve. And I wrestled him like 20 years ago when I was younger. He was really good dude, really good. Way better than me, right? And uh, he's a black belt in Judo. I was, I was young, he's a bit older than me. Um, he's a black belt, he teaches here. So I wanted to go to his gym, but we couldn't find a unit with parking, so yeah, we just all the Airbnbs didn't have parking. So I don't know, but if I come here for another month, I'm gonna come here and try and train judo and jiu-jitsu. So new, uh, hello. Yeah, I'm gonna come here and try and train judo and jiu-jitsu. 
that's new to a land, land cruiser. You know what annoys me, mate? Australia, right? I tried to get a land cruiser, two year wait. Here, and then I was like, oh, I can't get a land cruiser. I want to go to the Northern Territory, right? I wanted to get rid of my ex-wife. I was like, oh, I can't get a land cruiser, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's get a Ford Raptor. Bro, two year wait on a Ford Raptor. So I don't know if it's a Taiwan chip issue or if they sorted it out. Here, yeah, it's Jessica. But mate, brother, I'm like, well, well, what's with Australia, mate? What's with Australia and taking two years to get stuff? And then you, you see here, Philippines, third world country, they've got brand new Toyota Land Cruisers. What's going on, bro? What's going on? I think Australia's a small market. No one really cares about us. Mm. It's harsh, but true. Hey, love, how are you? Dude, I'm just vlogging, love. Doing some vlogging, bruh. Do you have Thailand shirt on? Come in. I think I think we found a um, I think we found a, a wedding location. I haven't been there, but it looks like the Maldives. It looks like the Maldives, like those huts, like the Maldives. I might go. It's a complete hole, right? But I like it, mate. I think we found a wedding location. I think we have. There you go. It's a farm, bro. I don't know where the cows are. Go the, you should be careful when you go over the lumps. You're the one who taught me about that. Yeah, but you've got to be a little bit careful. You can't go. If you did that in like Ford Festiva, you're going to smash the car. But Check the mountains out. Ford Check the mountains out. It's not Ford Festiva, you're right. Very observant, Jessica. Very observant. Check it out. Well, the lower car, you just smash the lower yeah, car, love. Of course love. I know that. Like my car That's is the not correlation, low, love. So Check it out. Okay. Well, why are they carrying this water? Why are they carrying uh, this water? They, they're workers. Do they not have water? They don't have water. They just leave. So they're taking the water home, there's are they? No, there's no electricity in Dubai. I have electricity in Dubai. So a lot of people here don't live with electricity. So, electricity. so I'm like, just hey. Just them, because they're workers. Yeah, but there's other people here, like the, the squatters uh, around the have no electricity. You know, the squatters near where we've got the houses knocked down. I'm not, I'm not, this is the suburb they're, we live. They're yeah, but um, sometimes you, I was saying, ah, oh, do you guys watch our vlog? And just goes, Ian, Ian, they don't have electricity. Like, they don't watch your vlog, mate. They don't have internet, they don't have electricity. I was like, oh, okay. Check it out. This is Jessica's hood, right, Jess? pre-workout meal bro you don't want to go to Miller? you don't want to go to Miller tonight tonight so we're there tomorrow morning then we can just go watch a movie and come home yeah if we want to or we can stay there tonight and go in the morning yeah i don't want to drive there tomorrow morning we can stay there drive there tonight stay the night in manila stay the night in manila then we go watch a movie at like 11 30. no one's going to be there at 11 30 watching dude two and then bang brah bang we come home or we'll stay in Manila, we can stay in Manila. Oh, ah, let's go, go, I want to do the Ikea tour as well, love. Yeah, we can do that in one day, they're in okay. the same place. How many days, I've got 18 days left, right? Here? Yeah. Okay, so here we are. Check it out. Yeah, the big one. And garlic rice. She's had, she's fine. Yeah, the This is pig fat, but it tastes good, dude. It tastes good. So yeah, this is a Filipino local restaurant. So you go. So this is the neighborhood restaurant. Check it out, it's a jitney. No, 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 medium. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a Pepsi as my pre-workout. Uh, my pre-workout. I have got pre-workout here, but I'm not, I can't be asked to put it in the thing and blah blah, so I'm just gonna you, do a Pepsi. It's a good pre workout, a good pre workout. Massive fish, called a Bangos. So I'm getting it for, I think it's under six dollars. And then the rice, so yeah, it's pretty cheap, mate. It's pretty cheap. Whatever. See you here, though. I'll see you in the window, okay. So this is Ian doing a traditional sauce in the Lomi house. So do I put do the it? seeds in or not? It's up to you. So I stab the fork. So I stab the fork. So squeeze all the juice out. 
done, done. And then again, this one. Stab the fork. And I'm not going to put any uh, thing. Let me taste it. Let me taste it with my mouth. It doesn't taste anything. It just tastes like calamansi. Taste mine with and without. Yeah, it tastes just good. Spicy. We don't really eat the. We don't really eat the. Uh, that's the hot. onion. We just. Oh, that's hot. We just dip it. Just don't do the chili. Then don't put your hands in there. It's going to stay yeah, there for a long time. Gonna cry, love. Anyways, we're waiting you do, for you. Food. You do the, uh, you do the uh, chili. Okay, so with the chili, you just squeeze it like that. Make sure it doesn't go in your eye because then you know what's next. Okay, we're gonna. You want toyo? What's toyo? Soy sauce. Toyo is soy sauce. It's toyo soy sauce. He's on toyo. He's on toyo, love. What's this? What's this? Cooper. What's that? Vinegar. Vinegar. Uh, we would rather have the vinegar. What are we going to do with this? What were you doing, love? What were you doing? Climbing trees. What, what kind of tree? Guava tree? Guava tree. Um, mango tree. Coconut tree. I, I can still climb. You said if you had a thousand subscribers, you'd climb a coconut tree. Where did I say that? You said it on film, love. On film. Really? Mm. What do you do? Will you climb a coconut tree? That's good. Will you climb a coconut tree or not? It's just spicy. Can you do it or not? Yeah, absolutely. Will you do it? Maybe. Okay. So Filipinos love vinegar, man. I've never met anyone who loves vinegar more. And I think that's why they're not as quite as gung-ho on the coconut as the Thais, because they use vinegar on their dishes and it clashes with the coconut. Is that right, love? Would you say that's true? You guys love vinegar, right? We you do. Love we like we like dipping mm, food in vinegar. Yeah. No, I mean, that was way better than Indian. That was way better than Indian. That was better than. That was the best stuff. It's the best food I've had. So I've got some lecture part of me. Mate, mate, check this house out. Someone forgot to build the house. They're like, oh, we just built the roof. We didn't actually build the house. So you guys, someone forgot to build the house, they just built the roof. We really use that style, uh, it's, it's like a resort style. Uh, they use that resort sort of style. It's not good for doing power cleans then. If you have a barbell in your house, it's not the best way in the world. They just stand in the center. Oh, I love. It's not for giants though. What's that? It's not for giants. It's not for giants. We've been waiting for this place to open. This place here. I think it's open. Mm. Right. Now, this is Lipper City. This is Lipper City. So, we're going to a slightly more expensive gym. Um, so, it's 1500 pesos, which is, uh, I'd say, $40, $50 a month each. And it's, uh, you know, that's really expensive in the Philippines. So, these oh, other gyms are like a dollar. But yeah, they're just, oh, these other gyms are shocking, mate. They're shocking. Like the bars, they've got these little like Rebel Sport type bars. Not even Rebel Sport bars, bro. You know, I want to load up like 150 kilo bench press on these little Rebel Sport bars. Like, it's just like, come on, bro, this is ridiculous. So, um, so yeah, Olympic bars are a must for me. Like, an Olympic bar um, is a must for me. Because the way they live is not the way we live in Australia. It's not the way we live in Australia, or England, or the US, where we get drunk, we go to bars. We don't, they don't do that here, man. It's not. The, the Filipinos, when they get drunk, how it works is they go to someone's house. The girls all stay inside, bro. The, the guys all drink outside. So the guys drink outside and the girls all stay in the house. That's how it works. Right, love? Yeah. And the guys and the girls, they don't mix Women together. Don't sit in front of the alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, women aren't, mate, women aren't drinking in Filipino households. They're not like drinking with the guys. It's not like, oh, the girls are getting pissed with the guys. It's just not like that. It's not the way well, it works. Nowadays, it's like that. Is it? I've never, I've never, like I've never met a family where the girls drink. Oh, actually, you know, no, I, I did, I had a family. I knew a family where the girls drank. Yeah, I did know a family where the girls so drank. Yeah. Bloody, it's a thing now. Yeah. People sit in front of the thing and all. Whoa, whoa, watch it, watch it, watch it. 
This is Lippa City, bruh. This is, uh, so I'm going to be here for another couple of weeks and then we're out. Going to be in Oz for a while, bruh. Australia, mate. Do you mate. like it here? Do you like it here? Not really. Well, lucky now I found this gym. I like it a lot better now I found this gym. So there's a gym here. I, I can go. There's a pool for like, I don't know, 250 pesos, which is seven, eight dollars. We can go use the pool. So there's a pool, there's, there's a gym. What's that? There's another pool for 80 pesos, so I've got a pool, I've got a gym, but it's a bit cold to be honest with you, the only thing that's been a bit cold. Yeah, we're, we're planning a family outing before you go. Of course you are, so that's good. Can, uh, can, uh, Should be fun. They're going to run a jeepney again. Yeah, how much Would you is like it? to ride the jeepney or not? I but, think they pay uh, 3,000 pesos, $100. No, I would not like to ride a jeepney, but thank oh, you for yeah. the offer. Why not? Well, why would you? Why don't you buy a jeepney? Why don't you just buy a jeepney? Why would I buy a jeepney? It's not... People want to pay out a jeepney and I want to buy one. What do we do with it? Mm. And jeepneys like that, they can't go in the highway. Oh, you're not allowed to go on the highway? No, of uh, course not. I didn't know that. You only have to be around your town or where you're... Fair enough, fair enough. Is there a, like a, like a plating when your plate needs you need to be... Realistically, if we if I move here, check this guy out. If I move here, we'll wind up buying like a Ford Raptor and um, and a uh, like a van, like a big people move a van for all the relatives. That's what we wind up buying. So yeah, realistically. So I skipped the latest iPhone. I was about to buy it, right? And it's grey, bro. It's grey. Like the top of the line one's grey. And I was like, bro, I've got a gold play a pimp iPhone, right? Why am I not switching my gold iPhone for a grey iPhone? I was like, do you have a gold one? They're like, nah. And I'm like, mate, and I like gold because I can see it. Like, I don't lose it. Like, it's, like, it's gold, mate. You can always see a gold iPhone, right? So, um, so it's like, yeah, I'm just going to wait for the next one. So, what do you think? You liked it, though, near the grey one? Not really, no. I like your iPhone now. Yeah, the, the gold one, bro. Oh, it's the I gold, like the bro. 14 Max. The battery is really good. The battery's good. The, the 15 would be better. Of all the iPhones that I've seen. So, have I got a 14? Max, have I got a 14? Yeah. yeah the okay. 14 Max is the best battery. Dude, this battery on the 14 is crazy, bro. It takes but, two days sometimes for your phone, if you, especially if you don't. But I'm going to... I'm probably going to get the 16. If it's it, So the 15 is the one I didn't get, right? Mm. So I'm probably going to get this, to the 16. I always get a top of the line one. I get one with the most capacity, like one terabyte. I get everything top of the line spec because then oh, I can hand it down and it doesn't kind of go away, you know, so... A terabyte's good as well because I get to, I can store a heap of like YouTube footage on it, so it's good. Check it out, brah. Check it out, brah. Welcome to Lipper City, Mayor Eric Africa. So Eric Africa got his name put on the um, on the license plates. I'm like, bro, well, that's some marketing, isn't it? You've got your name put on the license plates, like. Dude, that's some grandialized marketing, right? That's crazy, dude. Imagine getting your name. Imagine an Australian politician wanting to put his name on the license plates. Like Bob Carr. You're going to put Bob Carr's name on the license plates? Or Malcolm Turnbull? You're going to have Malcolm Turnbull's or Dan Andrews, mate. You're going to have Dan Andrews' name in your license plates? I'd be like, mate, I'd burn that license plate if Dan Andrews' uh, uh, name was on it, mate. I just can't stand it, mate. I just can't stand it. He's, He's just an absolute massive douche. He's just weak, dude. He just looks weak. You know what I mean? He looks weak, acts weak. I don't know. I don't know how Victoria ever. I just. I don't even want to go near Victoria, mate. Like we did our trip around Australia. I tried to avoid Victoria. We didn't go to Melbourne, mate. We did a trip around Australia, ex Melbourne, because Dan Andrews was there, mate. We're just not interested. We're just not interested. I could not stand that guy. He's out now, but he's just the worst, bro. He's the worst. I'm telling you. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. I guess here we are. We just went to the Filipino restaurant. Now we're at Burger King getting a whopper. So, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was traumatic, bro. It was traumatic. He's here or the other side? Other side? No, I'm not sure. Oh, they have waffle. Look at the waffle, though. Thank you, Ate. Can you see the waffle breakfast here? Yeah, it's a waffle. It's disgusting. Yeah, that's terrible. A waffle with a burger? Relax, bro. That looks disgusting. So we are baking. 
Did you go to the ballet? Uh-huh. Hey. Did you go to the ballet, bro? I should be like, come here for the ballet. <laughs> you didn't believe me? You can still have for me to be a ballerina. 150 kilos. There's a lot of weight. Do a quick walk through. First, Coca-Cola from Burger King, right? Second, wraps for my wrists, right? Third, cushion. So when we're doing the neck, wrestler's neck bridge, I don't have like a massive mark on my head. Third, this massive like three meter or two meter, it's, it's taller than me. So I've at least two meters stand. So I record my workout for YouTube. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Go, man. I'll follow your lead. Let's go to the sunset. Hey. Let's go to the Filipino sunset. How nice is that, brother? It's kind of picturesque. There's the mountains. And this is the. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. That's Jessica. Beautiful. That's a beautiful sunset, right? How beautiful is that? Okay, work out in the books, bro. Done. So there's the class. This is the Tabata class. Hey. Yeah, it's Tabata class. How cool is that? Bro, this was the best thing about the Filipino meal. Eating and getting a Whopper afterwards, right? This is big What are you doing, mate? Right, come on. Okay. Of course. Well, guys, please subscribe, share if you like, and <coughs> hit the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next vlog. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can't really care less.